In this video, I'll show you how to view segmented file when you have more than one phases um, in your uh, segmented file. Now, uh, for this um, uh, example, I have chosen uh, a problem that one of the users is facing. Uh, she has a segmented file with uh, 105 phases. Uh, of those 105 phases, 0 and 1 are poor. 2 to 101 are microporous bone, then 102 and 103 are solid bone, and then 104 is the scaffold, and then 255 is the is the mask value. Now what she is able to do is she is she can get the scaffold, uh, but uh, when in doing so she is also getting some boundary of the of the sample, so she wants to really get, just get the scaffold uh, and then just the bone and the microspores separately so let us see what we can do with the with the data now this is the data file here let me just drag and drop that one this is an etcdf file so this is the data here this is the bone and uh, within that is the scaffolding here and then there also there is a microporous bone these are the pores and that is the mask value let me just change this color uh, gradient now I, what i've done here is just hover over this color gradient and then press space bar to change the the color so i can change let me change blue okay so this is the color gradient that i have now what we want to do is separate these values we have pore here that is the microporous bone these two peaks here these two tiny uh, in the valley they, that's the bone that peak is the scaffolding and this one here is the mask value so what we want to do is increase the number of values allocated it basically increase the separation between these values so we will put a marker here and then stretch that out um, one way is to what i've done here is uh, what i did just now is left using left click i can put a marker and then just drag it using left mouse button i can remove the marker using just hover over that um, uh, marker and then use right click to remove the marker so left click to add the marker left click uh, and then right click to remove the marker another way of adding the marker is press space bar and then give marker m a r k e r i want to add a marker at 106 so th there i have added a marker at 106 i am using wheel mouse wheel to just expand the display of histogram Another marker that I am going to put is at 2. So I have put a marker at 2. One more marker I am going to put at 101. So that's the boundary between microporous bone and the bone. So these are the four, three markers that I have put. And now let us increase the separation. So that's the scaffold here, that's the bone, that is the microporous bone. Let me also just increase using mouse wheel, I have increased the display, expanded the display and now got it back to the original size. So now we have separated these values here. This is the, the pore that is the microporous bone that is the bone and this one here is the scaffolding here let's see that in the in the image let's put distinct values here uh, let me put dark value so that's the microporous bone oh sorry that's the yeah, that's the microporous bone 
this one here. And that's the pore. That's the scaffolding here. And then the pore structure. So now that we have separated uh, these uh, values, let us save it. Press S, save it in the segmented file. Okay, okay. It's done. Now let's start renderer. So this is the render, and then let's drag and drop uh, the segmented file here so let's drag and drop this file and now press f2 to go into the high res mode this is f2 let's just expand the transfer function window this here is the color opacity uh, gradient. Now hover over the um, transfer function spine widget, press spacebar. Now these are the markers that we had introduced in the uh, in the import. So I'm just hiding the markers and press G to hide the display or uh, or overlay of the grid so I'm pressing G okay now let's look at the 1D histogram now these are the different peaks that we had in our uh, in the import let us also turn on 1D transfer functions so that it's it's a lot easier And then let's move this transfer function. This is our pore. Let me just change the color to white. This is our pore here. Let me turn that off. Let us bring in the scaffold. This is the scaffold here. Let me put it as red. So deep red is the scaffold. Let me reduce the size of the widget. Let's put another one. This is the bone. So these are the two peaks where we have bone. So cream orange colored bone here cream brown bone and then finally we have in this one here the micropore structure let's put it at cream so this is the micropore structure now if we turn on the markers, these are these are the markers, so space bar to bring the markers on. This is the bone here and then the scaffolding. Now for the microporous let's put the Let's bring the 2D transfer function because we are getting high high gradient uh, boxes contributing. 
let's bring that down now you can see if I bring that up here there is some um, contribution from high gradient voxels and then for the scaffolding and this is the the pore here so that's the final result pores then the red is scaffolding uh, this one is scaffolding this is the the bone and micropore structure so that is how we can uh, separate the the phases and and visualize them